All right. Welcome to day three of uh, Advent of Code. I wonder what we're going to do today. I changed the stream up a bit. Um, moved the keyboard around. People were saying it was too disjoint when it was up above, so... Now it's closer. It's good. Um, the new thing also, we're going to have the chat be displayed on stream itself. Now, I haven't tried it before, so... I don't even know if it works, but... It's supposed to work, so... Might as well try, right? Alright. Let's look at today's task. Alright. Task three, day three. To bug on trajectory. Okay. There's very minimal searing on the areas covered. Let's see. Due to local geology, trees in the area only grow on the exact integer coordinates in the grid. Cool. Okay. Okay, so it repeats. Okay, yeah, all right, so this is the input and then it repeats to the right. Okay, yeah, so we have a map and then the map repeats. We start on the top left corner and we need to reach the bottom. Okay, so here we would just go here and here and here, okay? Um, the bottom is row on your map. The toboggan can only follow specific slopes. Okay, that prefers irrational numbers. Start by counting all the trees you would encounter for the low slope. Wait, okay, so start by counting all the trees you would encounter for the slope. Right, three, down, one. From your starting position at the top left, check that the position is that is right three. Okay. Down one from there. You can move up my map. The locations you check in the above example marked with the O where there was an open square. Okay, so okay, so we go so zero, one, two, three. And zero, one, two, three. Let's go down one and right three. Okay. Well, then X was a tree. In this example, traversing the map using this slope would cause you to encounter seven trees. Starting at the top left corner of the map, following the slope of right three and down one, how many trees would you encounter? Okay. Um, this seems a lot more uh, work than oh we got our first chat message it's happening all right so this seems a lot more complex uh, on first glance than the other one i mean it's a lot more real world but the other ones were like data manipulation things um but this time it's more um like we have to look at coordinates and stuff okay Let's just try it out. Um, we just take the demo input. And we open Edward of Code. And uh, we already made a new directory, so... Let's go into... Day 3. Make dir... Do we have a directory? Touch day3.hs. Let's start day 3. Module main where main IO main equals flipster ln hello. hello and let's create new file called test input 
Here we paste the input. And uh, then we will read this input. I just tried to do that. Get input file path to IO list of streams, right? Get input. This is just read file, right? This is a type of read file. Oh, yeah. This is just online over read file lines so we split it into strings um pretty easy and then let's just say get input test input pipe that to print let's just see if we managed to read it correctly we say gtd3.hs oh day three and then we will execute it okay so we got the input now let's think about the problem let's see You can see it here, right? I'm a bit in the way, but that's okay. So we will follow a slope down and we're supposed to count all the trees you would encounter for the slope, right? Three down one. And then the pattern repeats itself. Okay, so in Haskell, we have this function called repeat. Oops. Wrong one. Uh, GTI T repeat. Or we have even cycle, which if you say take five of the list of, if we cycle the list one, two, three, and we take five of it, it just repeats itself again and again and again. So we will, to encode this re repetition, because we're in a lazy language, we can actually just cycle. Instead of even, you know, we don't even have to do like modulus calculations. We could just literally cycle the lists. Let's do that. Um, so cycle. Uh, all cycled. This is just map cycle. We're gonna cycle all of them. And then we start at the top. I'm just gonna close this. This is some other project I've been working on. Save the changes. Yeah. So we're gonna go down, right? Down one, right three, one, down one, right three, down one, right three, down one, right three, down one. So, okay, what is the pattern? So I, so let's say, so, okay. So we have, let's, let's look at it as like coordinates, I comma J, right? And uh, so I will be zero, I equals first zero, then what, three? Is that how it's like? Uh, yeah, so first it's, okay, okay. We don't even, we don't check the first one. Okay, so the first one is always, yeah, so we always start here and then we go zero, one, two, three. Yeah, okay, so it's three and then it's three, four, 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 five, six. Yeah, three, six, nine, so on. Okay, and then you always go down one. So, okay, and how long is the input? So we're, 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 we're essentially asking, just take every third element of the list, 
starting from three. Is that correct? Zero, one, two, three. Zero, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, so we, we're taking the third. So it's first is plus three, then it's plus three. So it's every third element, right? Yeah. Um, so if, if you start, if you're taking the index from one. Because this is like the fourth element, right? Yeah, and this is the fifth, five, six, seventh element. So we, we deduct one. Okay, so anyway, zero, three, six, nine. Um, now, what is the length here? Let's load this. Get the test input. And let's do print the length of it. So how many lines is it? And how long are the lines? Okay, so it's 11 and 11 is not a multiple of... Um, it's not a multiple of nine, a multiple of three, right? So this will be zero, three, six, nine, and then, you know, 10, 11. The next one should be 12, but it would be 12 mod 11. So it'll be one, four. So can I just generate list list? Um, Okay, let's just say take every third element. Okay, um, how do we do that? Take every third. Um, so what we want every third to do is that we want every third, so we want take every third of, you know, one of zero. Uh, ten to be, Two, three, you know, three, six, nine. Okay, so take the third. Um, okay, of XS equals, so okay, so we drop three. XS. So let's reload it and let's say take every third of one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, let's just do one, two, eleven. That gives us four first. Okay, so we want to. Yeah, we started at one. Okay, a. So you want to drop three. Okay, so take every third will operate on infinite lists, right? Take, can I like do this code completion or something? Nice. Okay, so it will be um, where, um, So we'll be drop, so we drop to where x, x is equal to drop to. So this will be drop x, drop to xs. So this will be, okay, so let's say this will be y and this will be y's. And this is the first element after we drop two. And then we will keep taking every third. Uh, y is. Let's reload. 
up three six nine what if we take uh, 10 10 and take every third and now we just want all the integers 3 6 9 12 15 18 21 16 17 18 21 Okay, and then we're going to map. We are in English mode. We're going to map mod 11. Oh no. It needs to be like this mod 11. 3, 6, 9, 1, 4, 7, 10, 2, 5, 8. So on. These are precisely the indexes that we want. So, chords, we don't actually need to cycle them, that's just inefficient. So, chords, it's going to be a list fint. Chords is going to be take every third. Um, So, okay, so here we will say, so let's generalize this, right? So it's going to be take every n, then int, uh, and we will drop n, take every n, and then I like having a list here. I guess if we take every n, because, you know, it's definitely going to be the case that for task two, part two of this problem, we're going to have to do something else and write three down one right so let's just prepare for that right now take every n two so this will be n minus one take every third will be take every n uh so we start with one take every n and then yeah so this is exactly what we want. Okay, and then, so now we have an infinite list of coordinates. Um, and now we want to take the uh, lookup in input. So it takes a list of strings you know, the lines it takes a list of coordinates and it returns a list of values at that point. Look up in input. Uh, so if we don't have any more input, we don't care about the coordinates and we will say empty list. Look up in input x axis so if we have a line and we want so then we have the chord here that is going to be uh l and i'm going to call this a line and the line because it's going to be lines of input and we're going to do ln c You know, actually, yeah, so we're not, we don't, we haven't, so the, here we, we mapped the mod over. So we're going to do line C mod uh, mod the module of the length of LN. Catenate it to look up input LNS CS. Okay, let's look it up. Um, let's see here. Okay, so let's do this. Do TI test input. We're just going to go test input. We're going to print um, we're gonna apply lookup in input 
to the test input the cowards we have reload run main okay so so first one was supposed to be oh oh okay yeah we don't actually we drop the first line as well because we start going down um so the cohorts here are always going to be zero and then right three down let's see reload run main again so first we don't hit uh, so first it's going to be zero and then it says period let's print let's print the cohorts Zero three six nine. So okay, so this one is gonna be zero. Zero zero, right? Let's print the Okay, yeah, so this is the input, right? Test input. So first one should be nothing. Second one should be. Uh, so I of one. That is this line, right? And so if we look up. So we, we look up here, we look up three. Okay, but are they, you know, so this is zero, one, two, three, yeah. If we look up four, we would get the three, right? Yeah. Okay, and then, so, okay, so it's, that's this one. And then we go one, three, four, five, six. We hit this tree. So let's look up line two. So that's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? That's a tree. Um, okay. But look up an input, Ryan gave us something else, right? That gives us dot for the second one. Oh no, yeah, okay, yeah. The first one here is gonna be the first one, right? This, and then it's gonna be the circle, yeah. So it's first gonna be circle, and then x, yeah. So it's dot dot x dot x, x dot x, and then x, x, yeah, okay. All right, I think we, we got this one. So now we define an easy function is tree char to boom is tree equals so this is a tree anything else is not a tree so we look up an input uh, we filter is tree and then we see how many that is seven good now let's get the real puzzle input okay uh so here New file, input, 
and let's see. Okay, and we have the test input, and let's see what happens. We will take it. Let's just go here. Get input. Input. Pipe it a count. Let's just write this as a function. Count print count trees test input and then we say print dot count trees. I think I should be able to like I surely I don't have to press it with my mouse. Anyway, this should be let's just change it to be the piped one. I don't know, then I don't have to give names to things, you know, which is, oops. Run it, reload it, run main, 178. Let's see if that's correct. All right, we got the first one. Whoop, whoop. All right, part two. Um, if for, so, yeah, okay. Terminal average you would encounter if for each of the following slopes, you start at the top left corner, traverse them up all the way to the bottom. Okay. Um, yeah, this is exactly what we anticipated, right? So, uh, count trees, let's change that, right? Count trees takes in an int and an int. Count trees gen. Um, and this is going to be right, and this is going to be down. Okay, so we still do the length filter history. So cohorts, we need to generalize cohorts. Cohorts is going to be cohorts is going to be gen cohort gen. So that's where we need to actually put the right. The right and the down, right? That's because that's so. Here we say chords, uh, herds, C, chords, C, chords, gen, C. Okay, so it always starts with a zero. So this is going to be right and this is going to be down. So here we say right and so so my question is right two right one down two to produce two trees so right one down two one okay right one down two right one down two right one two right one down two okay that goes down only one so that goes down right yeah that goes right once 
uh, but then down two. So it doesn't go right one, right one. So we have to change that for that one. Okay, but we want... Um, right one down two. So you want to take every other... You want to take every other element in this list. Take every n down. So take every n down. That's just draw, drop zero, right? That's possible. Yeah, so we can just drop, take every n down. Um, but we want it to... We want it to... We want to divide by... By the... We want to multiply. Wait, I'm thinking about a bit. So we're multi. So we're taking every n down. So this will work for all the other ones, right? But um, let's see here. So cases equals. So what are the cases here? So it's right one down one. This is going to be, and then it's going to be, oops, this is how you write it in Haskell. Then we're going to go 3151351571, and then one, two, cases equals, this is a list of int comma int. And uh, the input will always say the same, but the count trees will change. So we will change this into like this, um, because then we can just map over the cases. Okay, so let's try it out. Get input, test input. Okay, so yeah, I mean, this is not the best, but um, it's okay. Okay, and then then we will just say print map count trees okay so we can just do it directly uh, print dot map count trees gen um, okay so Okay, let's just let's just not not do it this fancy. Let's just say pi get input test input, and then we will print map count trees gen. You see, because otherwise, like the we will have to flip and flip and flip and flip, which is going to be too much flipping. So we map it over the input over the cases. Uh, let's see here. So two seven three four two. So it just works for the second one. Okay, I think it's I think it's okay because it's one. 
we don't I think we, otherwise we'd have to like divide by right um, let's just go here print product three three six let's just run it on the real input um, and just see if it works I think it should I think I think we would have to actually generalize this one properly um, this core this take every n thing I think you know, we would have to generalize it properly but because the only case where it's not one right is going to be one it it kind of all works out anyway so I think let's just yeah uh, so let's just try it out you know see see if it works and if it does you know we don't have to do anything else this is a nice thing about having an oracle like we have here you know we can just actually check if we got it right I mean and we got it right according to the tests here let's see that's not the answer, right? Yeah, I think this is because we didn't generalize properly. Let's go back. First time we're not getting it right on the first try, so. Uh, but this is also like, if you have an Oracle, you can just use it right away. And, you know, it's okay to be wrong because, I mean, we're not even penalized for having getting it wrong in the first try, so it's okay. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure the one three five seven is correct. Because uh, that's always just going down, going down, going down. But then for down two. Should we just, um, I'm wondering if we could just, uh, special case that one. So what is that going to be? Oh, wait. I think, uh, I think maybe it's because we are taking every other coordinate, but we should really be taking every other input. And then this should be right. And then we don't actually. I think maybe that was the issue. Yeah, I think that's the issue. We were like taking every other coordinate, but we should be been taking every other input. Um, Oh no. So then we got 178, 7, 178. Uh, we're taking every N down. 3, 1. Non exhaustive pattern YYS. In line 18. Dun, 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 dun. I think so how does it work 
let's see take every n two one two zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven yeah so we we take line right because we we always want to take the zeros line and then line two um so these are the lines of the inputs so we always want to take the first one and then we take the every other after that Uh, but we get an exception. Um, so, you know, you, so this will be essentially same as doing this, right? Zero. Um, uh, zero, two, two, seven, six, yeah. Zero, two, four, six, that's exactly what we want, right? But this is wrong because uh, because this will be an empty list sometimes. So let's just do it here. K's drop n minus one excess of. So if it is we're not at the end, that's okay. This is why we wanted to. This is why we, we defined this for, uh, we were thinking about cycling, right? And we defined it for infinite structures, but then we're applying it to the input, which doesn't actually, which isn't infinite, right? So this is why we have to deal with it. So if we are applying it to an empty list, uh, okay, so here we want this. But if we have the empty list, so I mean, so this will just be if it's anything else. Reload now. Take every end here. Zero two four six eight ten. Okay, let's see in the input here. So zero. Okay, start here. Then we go right one down two. This is line two. Right one down two. This is line zero one two. Okay, we can actually look at the test input. Oh, okay, so we have line. So this will be line zero. So it's going to be minus one here. Um, so zero. Right one down two. Line two. Right one down two. Line four. Right one two. Line six, right one down two, line seven, line eight, right one down two, line ten. Okay. Um, this is a different answer, but we still get the other one correct. I think this is the right one. So we instead of, we shouldn't be taking every other coordinate, right? That was that wasn't right. We should have been taking every other line. Uh, which we are now doing, right? Well, let's see. Let's see if this is the answer. All right. What's the right answer? So, we are one gold star closer to saving our vacation. Um, and we got to do some debugging this time instead of just getting it right, which is... Hopefully more fun for you guys. It's not so much fun just to see me write the code. We wanna we wanna explore why we were wrong, right? And why were we wrong here? Well, we tried to take every other core. So we were like, okay, we should take every other something, right? But you know, we thought, okay, let's take every other coordinate, which unluckily for us actually works for the test data. 
um, but it didn't work for the input. So I think, and I think this is correct, right? So we want to, you want to take every other line and then, yeah. All right, so people don't like the music. All right, now it's at minus 42, 44.4 decibels. Um, but yeah, I tried, uh, I tried applying compression to the audio. Um, and it's like, it's, uh, it's supposed to, I just, I just don't talk loud enough when I'm, that's the problem really here. I, uh, yeah, I mean, it is ducked, right? I'm literally transmitting the music because it's Christmas music. You're not hearing it through the microphone. You're hearing it from Spotify itself. Like I'm streaming the what I'm hearing, right? It's a advent of code stream. You're gonna you need Christmas music, right? And this is cozy Christmas music. Anyway, I hope it's better now. Um, I tried. So I'm I am capturing the input. And uh, it's uh, it's being um, ducked also by the input capture. But yeah. Anyway, thanks for looking in today. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, six o'clock sharp, um, for episode four. And we can see that it's getting progressively harder and harder. Right? So, you know, who knows? Maybe tomorrow I won't even be able to do it. Um, I think I should set a maximum. You know, if I'm spending three hours on it and not making any progress, then that's a bit too much. But, you know, it's part of the fun, right? Figuring out how to do it. And that's also like, I don't know, that's how we solve things usually. I try my best. And then if that doesn't work, it's usually better to do just go do something else for a short while, take a break, you know, go out for a walk, then come back and do it again. So, worked for me so far. Anyway, thanks for dropping in and uh, see you all tomorrow, six o'clock. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you missed it live, but you know, there's a link in the description where you can check out the stream. See you all.